Hi, I'm Frederick Forster, newly crowned National Chef of the Year 2011. And I'm here today to demonstrate a recipe for all you food lovers out there. I'm going to show you how to make mango salsa. Ingredients, some diced red onion, some chopped coriander, chopped fat leaf parsley, some chopped red chilli, um, we've got some diced green peppers. Um, I've got the skin on, but you can take the skin off if you want to. I've also got some um, sliced uh, mango here, um, which I'm going to dice up. Um, the best mango to use would be um, a, man a mango called Alfonso, which is very, very nice and succulent and very, very tasty. So, to cut the mango, just a sort of nice dice. Not too big, not too small either. And again, it doesn't have to be uh, perfectly diced, but just sort of, you know, some form of uniformity to when you actually cut them up. Because as you know, presentation of anything is very important. Once you dice them. Generally when you make something like a salsa, it's normally got some form of acidity added to it. Um, so therefore, after I've made this one here, I'm gonna taste it and maybe put a little dash of lemon juice in there or lime juice in there also. Okay, so it's nicely diced up. I place it into my large bowl. And then very simply, I just add all the other ingredients. It goes on the side. Okay. No particular order, it's all got to mixed up nicely. Side. Add a bit of salt. Side. Some pepper. And I'm going to add some um, sunflower oil. Um, you don't really want to use olive oil because olive oil is quite strong, so you will kill the flavor of the mango. So you want to keep really use a neutral oil that has very minimal flavor. So something like sunflower is very good. Rapeseed will be very good also. So that goes inside. And you want a, a good amount of sunflower oil in here uh, because you're making basically like a vinaigrette, really, you know. So you really want to have all the mango and all the other ingredients sort of swishing around in amongst the oil. Give that a nice mix now. Okay, after tasting it, it lacks a little bit of sweetness and also a little bit of acidity. So for the acidity, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to it. Okay. Squeeze that in. But again, it's very important things like salsas, you can't just rely on um, quantities of ingredients. You've got to taste, it's very, very important. Mix that in nicely. Taste. That's enough lemon juice inside there. And it is a touch of sugar in there. Not too much because obviously the mango is sweet itself, but just a little dash of sugar in there. Just to balance the acidity. Mix that in nicely. And that's how you make mango salsa.